And as you saw from my previous videos, um, the Dyson bottom can of the canister came out, uh, like the bottom of it came out on top of the airflow intake, so all that kitty litter and everything went down. I just want to show you that it actually did go down, and I took the filter off because that's where the airflow is. You can see all that kitty litter and everything in there. And listen, look, look at all that kitty litter coming out. Look, look at that. Like all that kitty litter and all that dust. Look at that. Look at that. All of that dust is what went through and got sucked back in. So that this design where the canister opens on the bottom like that when the airflow is right there, that is bad. This is bad. I don't like this. I want it set up like the canister vacuum is, where the airflow is coming from the top of the canister, so you have this whole thing down here to collect the dirt. And you empty the bottom, and there's no airflow channel. Because now, you look down in there, look at that. It's all dusty. It's all dusty. That's what happens when you empty it every time. So every time you empty it, that dust blows back up in there. And then you turn that on, and it sucks it right down into the filter. And as you saw, all that dirt coming out of the filter. All that dirt coming out. And this is supposed to be... A, look, all this... Yes, all of this is what came out of this filter. All that cat, all that kitty litter, look, all that cat litter came out of the filter. And there's two of these, so there's more kitty litter in there. I just took one of them off. But this design of the Dyson Upright does not work. Stay tuned, and I will be doing a test of the canister vacuum kinetic pretty soon. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. And as you saw from my previous videos, um, the Dyson bottom can of the canister came off. Uh, like the bottom of it came out on top of the airflow intake, so all that kitty.